hey what's up guys so today i've got this uh, prisma zmr fuel pump well uh, this originally belongs to a company named kainen this is a japanese company uh, it makes some sort of carburetors and uh, electronic control units and throttle bodies of course so uh, the main purpose of doing today's video is um, you know uh, i recently fried this uh, fuel pump and uh, i went to the uh, company and uh, they say the new one's gonna cost 11,000 rupees. I mean, God knows, but this thing is bloody expensive. Uh, you know, I haven't spent this much on my car yet, and uh, yet they want 11,000 for this. So, uh, this really, as an engineer, uh, there's no way I'm paying 11,000 for this thing. I mean, I know uh, there's supposed to be a small motor inside this, and there's no way this thing is... Uh, you know more than uh, 1500 rupees worth so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to explain what's exactly inside this fuel pump and uh, why this thing gets fried and stops working um, well uh, let's just open it and uh, I'm gonna explain you later that uh, why uh, the only and only reason why this thing stops working so let's just go for it I've already managed to uh, open this uh, using this plier so um, I'm going to do a complete breakdown of this uh, fuel pump and uh, I'm going to show you what exactly is uh, inside this thing. So let's just go for it. I'm going to use this screwdriver from now on. You gotta be careful this thing is pretty damn tight. Alright, this thing is almost out and uh, God, this thing is really tight and there we go. So as you can see, uh, this right here is the reservoir. So it's just, it's nothing but a metal container. So this is what uh, the inside of a Krisma ZMR fuel pump looks like. Well, uh, you can see um, this right here is the uh, 12 volt motor. So this is the input side and this right here is the output side. Uh, the pressure of uh, uh, ongoing fuel is approximately 3 pound per square inch. And uh, these are the input feeds. Well, as you can see, um, let's just further open it. I mean, uh, let's just remove the wires. There are some locks and uh, these can pretty easily be removed and uh, yeah. so let's just further go for it. There's an oil filter right here uh, installed on this side. I've removed it because uh, I really didn't need it. So let's just further remove this thing. There you go. Come on. So you can see um, this right here is the um, the motor. Uh, I'm having a hard time removing it. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So as you can see, uh, this is basically the uh, heart of this uh, fuel pump driver. So uh, the main reason, uh, well, let me explain. I've managed to cut this motor into two halves using this hexa blade from here. I hope this thing comes off easily. 
so uh, uh, let me explain why this thing stops working the only reason is uh, when your bike runs out of fuel you know uh, well petrol helps there are carbon brushes inside this thing uh, let me show you is nothing but a brushed motor nothing more than that i mean you can see right here these are the two carbon brushes uh, they are supported by the springs in the back so um, what exactly is uh, uh, these two carbon brushes goes right here and engages and uh, it helps spinning the motor like this you know uh, this thing is pretty much jammed so um, let me explain when your bike runs out of fuel and you are just uh, you know uh, pressing the self start button and the engine is cranking up um, this uh, there is supply there is continuous supply going into this uh, carbon brushes and uh, this motor is rotating continuously so um, uh, well the petrol uh, the fuel uh, really helps uh, lubricating these carbon brushes so when you are uh, um, cranking the engine without any fuel you see this carbon brushes gets worn out and uh, you know they stop engaging with this uh, armature so that is the major reason that uh, uh, this thing gets fried so uh, now I'm going to show you how to repair this thing well uh, this is the exact thing that happened with me so uh, the right side carbon brush uh, worn out so I just managed to put a larger spring behind this as you can see I've obtained it from some sort of ball pen or something I don't know it was just lying around so um, well uh, cutting up the motor is not exactly a good idea because uh, you see um, let me just remove this armature as well let me show you exactly what's inside of this thing as you can see uh, this right here is the armature and uh, so let me explain you how this thing works um, there's a small uh, centrifugal blade right here and uh, this armature goes right into that uh, pump and uh, it rotates so the fuel goes from this side and it goes right from this inside motor and uh, you see this thing goes right like this so uh, this thing further goes into this and the fuel comes out of this side and this thing goes right into your uh, uh, fuel pump head over there so you see um, well uh, you can get a new motor well I'm gonna show you a link on Alibaba uh, there are a couple of sellers on OLX they are selling uh, uh, this thing for 5000 rupees but that even not uh, worth it so you can get this motor for only 500 rupees or something like that uh, and I also I'm going to show you another um, link on Alibaba as well well this uh, fuel pump actually belongs to a Yamaha NXR 125 motorcycle it's a Chinese motorcycle of course and uh, this uh, fuel pump is actually um, only 1000 rupees worth so I'm going to show you uh, just in a couple of minutes um, so what you can do is uh, you can either uh, cut this motor like this which is pretty much not a good idea uh, it's always recommended that uh, you get a new motor so uh, well if you want to go like this um, remember uh, the black side you have to cut just a little bit from this side no, uh, make sure not to cut very deep because uh, you see this plastic goes right into this side and uh, uh, you don't want that uh, so um, as you can see uh, this right here is the uh, complete breakdown of uh, Christmas ZMR fuel in pump and uh, you can see uh, this thing is not even worth rupees 1500 and the company charges rupees 11,000 for this so you know as an engineer uh, I was really forced to do this um, I wanted to look inside this fuel pump you know to see what exactly uh, why exactly this fuel pump is um, this much expensive so now I'm going to show you the uh, links on Alibaba where you can buy this thing or even uh, you can get this uh, motor uh, just for rupees 500 or something uh, that can really save you some amount of money so all you have to do is um, open your web browser and um, type alibaba.com this uh, this is a Chinese website uh, it has a lot of stuff that is available at much cheaper prices than India so all you have to type is uh, an XR125 fuel pump so you'll see uh, dozens of results uh, you see uh, this right here is the Christmas ZMR fuel pump and uh, you can uh, contact these uh, sellers individually so uh, they can provide you this uh, fuel pump uh, via EMS shipping or DHL or FedEx you know uh, this thing can reach you within a week or something I got it in five days only so uh, you see uh, 
well this fuel pump right here is also being used in a WRX 250 motorcycle so let me just put a space in between and uh, we'll get better results so you see uh, this right here is the uh, fuel pump uh, wait a minute uh, yeah this one looks exactly like so you see it's only twenty dollars per piece so that's pretty much cheap and uh, you see also so you can see uh, this right here is the motor that's available only for ten dollars that's uh, approximately seven hundred indian rupees there are dozens of motors and fuel pump assemblies available on this website as you can see so uh, you know uh, this thing can uh, this website can really save you a lot of money so if you are interested you can place order on this website uh, contacting individual sellers